Okay, I actually don't know how you kill that skull. Uh, I'm just gonna walk away from him. <laughs> and we are in the Black Marble Gallery. Um, this is, uh, once again, kind of a different name. I like that. It's not just reverse. A lot of them just say reverse. But, uh, we got, what is it, Catabl or whatever his name is? I'm only doing one damage to this thing. Clearly, I don't have the weakness. Yeah, whatever. I'm not even gonna fight you. <laughs> See, he, like I said, you're gonna be hearing that music like a lot. This is the same as the Necromancy, same as the uh, entrance. Not that kick-ass black marble music. Um, really quick, I don't think I touched this. That there's a familiar section. And you can actually see like the experience and stuff of your of your familiars that you have. There might be one more, but I think that's how many there are. Um, so you can see they can get to 99, which is a lot. Um, in my bats level 13. And I think they level up when they get to certain levels, but 99 is just complete grind fest. It's just stupid. But, eh, my bats level 13. That's better than 1, so... Whatever. It's just a very impractical to get around in the inverse, uh dungeon. It's kind of interesting. Okay, bye-bye. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> You're doing that one hit point, can't hurt me, you gotta use a certain element thing, I'm getting, I'm just gonna leave. I mean, I don't even know if I need to go out of here at all, but there might be like a life up or something. And I didn't get out of the secrets either. There's, there's so many items in this game, and a lot of them are worthless, but as you can see, I used three anti-venoms, which I never used before, uh, just for that one Beezlebub fight. So, I mean, it, it, it can be worth it. Speaking of anti-venom, there it is. <laughs> you heard me talk about it. But, you know, like I said, it, it does not hurt. Every little item helps. Not that it's limited. I might actually stock up with some high potions when I uh, get to uh, the library again, which is... Hopefully soon, because I got a lot of stuff to sell, and I can buy everything now. And I don't know, he might update his inventory, I'm not sure. But in any case, I'm getting that Joseph's Cloak. Oh yeah, this is great. Don't even care. And we got that long hallway now, let's see what we got. Oh, ouch, that really hurt. Thank you for that. Library card. Okay, it's a sign. It's a little bit. This is a little bit. This is a little bit dangerous. This is a tiny bit dangerous. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> Yikes! The monster vials. Love them. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Awesome. This is my my uh, point of being like, kind of like uh, I don't know if, I don't know if they're like completely sure on what their direction was. I'm not trying to criticize. I'm just like it just hey it just seems like empty. I don't know. I never liked that feeling. Skyrim and Oblivion and all that games. They always that always happened. I always felt empty and it, once once I started playing and realizing that you know there actually isn't that much there. I don't know. Probably get some guy mad at me saying that. Whatevs. Can't please everybody. Well, instead of we got a lot of hearts. Oh well, that was pointless. All right, I'll meet you back at the top of the marble gallery. Well, if anything, I got a lot more hearts, I guess, and some experience, hopefully. But this game is has that thing where if the enemy levels are too low from you, because they have like little set levels. Um, then you only get one experience point if you're high. But this guy gives the most experience points, I think, in the game. He is the highest level enemy. Uh, Guardian. This is all he has. And he's strong. That's... That's... Yeah. I can't fight this guy, actually. I'm, I'm only doing three damage. I'm gonna just go away from you. Oh, God. That's close. Oh, goodbye. I'm not fighting you guys at all. But yeah, if you want to level up to highest you possibly can, it's gonna be those guys at the very end that actually give you more than one uh, thing. So, uh, this is interesting. Can I actually go down to the center of the area right now? Oh, look at that! It's different! No, this is the very top. I'm sorry, this is technically the top. This is not the center of the castle. The castle, that would be up. But, uh, can't complain about that. 
And now we've got a real choice of sub weapons. Look at that. This is where you choose your sub weapon. They're all here, including the cross. It's pretty cool. And life up once again. Great. We're really up to 500 hit points here at some point. Things are things can things are starting to do like 80 damage to me, which is ridiculous. That guy did 93 to me. Holy crap! The guardian. And I think he can draw. I think he can drop an item called God's Garb, and that's actually the best item you can get. And uh, one secret that I messed up that I was talking about is that I can actually open that uh, other side of the tower here by using a stopwatch. And now I got an easy uh, access to a stopwatch. Let's try it out. It probably will lead to some sort of life up, which uh, I you know I'm okay with. So let's uh, get that. Oh yeah. All right, resist fire, resist thunder. Very cool. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> It might be worthwhile to, to check back in the real, uh, in the right side up castle though, when I uh, get back. But uh, for now, let's get our holy water back. Because I know where I can get a stopwatch in the uh, marble gallery. So the center of the castle would be up there, so this hasn't opened yet, so obviously something's up. We could go to Oroch's Quarters, which actually has the, one of the biggest name changes in the, in the game. But uh, we're just going to avoid all of you guys. <laughs> Doing three damage, no way, not messing with that bullshit. Ow, jeez, there goes freaking whatever. Up oh, goes another 54 hit points, jeez. God, this like kind of took me by surprise. The de the the death chapel, their anti chapel, wasn't that bad. This is just oof, man. As soon as you get down here, like death mode. Excuse me, I see you hiding in the corner there. Whoa! Don't want the stopwatch. Whoop! Good, I took the damage of that instead of the other thing. So let's see, that would lead to the underground passage, which is crazy. We're going to the caverns upwards. Nuts. But uh, there's also another one of those right here, or somewhere. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where I am here. This would lead to the, damn it, damn it, door, uh, Jewel of Open Door. Oh, God, please, quit it. No, I see you, I see you, and I, I still... Yeah, I know. I'm going to get to the library card here soon. i got to watch it. I need to get to a save point again. I'm being reckless. See, that's the problem, man. You, i got to let my guard down for how easy the, the first half of this game is. Now, man, it's like... Boosh. Whatever that means. But it is. It's like... Boosh. Woo! I jumped! I jumped! Jesus. Iron ball. Iron freaking ball. See, I'm not, I'm not even trying to put items there. They're like, oh, we gotta put something here as a room. <laughs> okay, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I know there's a breakable wall somewhere in that ceiling, but I don't really know where. Oh, my hit points are or orangey. Not good, man. One hit from a strong enemy that surprises me could really ruin me. Probably should eat something. Don't want to have a surprise death. Are you listening? Nope. Fine. Keep going then. It's kind of like this side of the castle isn't fully like materialized yet, and they're in, in like the the Dark Lord is slowly brooding up energy. I think that's kind of what it is. So we're trying to stop him at the source before he gets too strong, and this castle does become a chaotic place. Not that it already isn't. Okay, well that was, um, I guess, enjoyable. So let's go to the reverse outer wall. No break. I think I'm going to eat, uh, eat something, though, because uh, I'm a little hungry. So let's eat a high potion. All right, thanks for that. So this would lead... Oh, the moon's upside down. It's crazy. Don't know where I'm going. So we would go up to go down, right? Yeah. We want to see what that telescope place looks like. And these guys again. Hi. What we got? 
dim sum set. I believe that's some sort of food. And uh, it reminds me of sushi, but by looking at it, it might be sushi. I don't know. But I'll tell you what. Whoa, buddy! Miss could pass. Ooh, a weapon. Shoto. I, I knew that was going to be that without even... I just knew that was... That's what that was. <laughs> uh, attack down by only two. A little higher range, but it's slower. Um... This one is to keep my faster range. It's not really worth it. No. Ooh, hurt. Oh, nice. But yeah, I guess the reason I'm commenting so much on the way that the, the comparison of the inverse is that is this is kind of new to me too. Like I don't really know what items are where now anymore. I only know a little bit about the inverse castle, so I'm kind of exploring with you. It's it's. It's pseudo blind, if you will. But it's pretty rad with the, the, the uh, chain links kind of like hanging upside down like that. What the heck, man? Quiet. Wrong way! Oh, right way. Too slow. So we fought the doppelganger in the mid place of this wall. We could completely skip that area if we wanted to by just dropping down there. But obviously we're going to head over here and see what this boss is. Because maybe they're hiding a... Uh, wow. Hey there. Oh, I remember you. Because maybe they're hiding a, a organ of Dracula. I think we only have, what, one? We got from... Uh, Hippogriff? No, no, the Medusa. Yeah, this looks interesting. And a save point, which we want. All right, let's see what we got. of Vlad. Nice. I'm not even gonna save it. You got nothing, the creature. You, Beelzebub was not even like, Beelzebub should have guarded that organ. For shame. All these potions I'm getting, shield potion, strength potion, I think I will use them. Uh, pretty much for one boss. And I'm usually pretty bad at hyping things, because usually it's never as bad as I say it is, but I'm telling you, man, if I remember, like, you're supposed to get a really secret item just to help you for this boss. And I'm not going to get it, because <laughs> I want this boss to be challenging, man. If I die, I die. This will lead to the uh, the long li the lost library, I believe. And um, finally get a break from this final Takata. But, before we do that, I want to head to the teleport area, because we are going to go back to the real side uh, library and um, buy, our, buy our ultimate gear. Or, well, buy, our, buy as much as we can, at least. So, uh, this will be my easy way back, and I'm going to use a library card. Don't even need to really edit it out, because it's just uh, going to bring us all the way back to there. So, let's use it. Who's that library card? Uh, meal ticket first. Sweet. Morning set. Pull the breakfast in the morning. Um... Five of those suckers. Let's do it! It's kind of cool. It's definitely a bit longer of a uh, loading sequence because we're moving to an entire new castle. So you would expect as much, really. So, kind of cool. Let's see what we can get. The Blatty Cape for one. What can I do for you? 
Sell stuff. Bam, bam, twenty thousand, baby. I'm interested in this. Elixir. Restore all HP. That's pretty use useful, but eight thousand? Oh my gosh. Anything new? Don't really need a library card. Oh, Thunderbrand. We got these different. Uh, and you can see the item on this on the table there. Different. Uh, I don't think we got any of these. Although, oh, they're actually stronger. Firebrand stronger, Ice Brand we already have one, Thunder Brand does lightning damage, so we could get one of these. I might do that for fun, or we could just go skip and get the sword called the Sword Named Harper, which uh, is our strongest sword yet. I think I might just do that. So they did get some more stuff: Silver Crown, eh, Reverse Cloak, Elven Cloak, Joseph's Cloak. It does bring our defense down by one, but we can change the color, and for me, it's worth it. I'm stupid like that. And uh, we can buy a magic scroll which contains Tetra Spirits, which is a really strong magic attack. Like I said, I don't really feel like using the magic attack, so I'm not. So let's buy Joseph's Cloak. <laughs> Thank you. And let's buy Harper. <laughs> and now we're broke Thank again. You. Farewell for now. See ya. So let's see what we got. We got Harper, the sword named Harper. Boosk. That's a lot of money here. And um, what's that dim dumb set? Three dim dishes, okay. Um, we got the Justice Cloak, which at first just is completely pure black. So uh, let's do a little time lapse and let's turn it into the Blatty Cloak. And there we go, the Blatty Cloak. May not look as cool as you think, but uh, for anybody that knows my channel whatsoever, um, and my, uh, I guess my little trademark mascot thing. This is definitely fitting. All right, let's, uh, oh God, let's head back to the inverse reverse wall. Look at my bat, holy crap, it's a baby boo bat. All right, see then, before we do that though, uh, there's a little little kind of an Easter egg slash secret. Uh, this little thin pipe's actually right above the librarian. If you have the uh, super jump, like I do, you can, uh, yep, boost him up. And uh, if you time it right, and make sure his head doesn't hit the ceiling, uh, I think you got to do it like three times or 30 times in a row, something crazy like that, um, and not touch the ground, and have him not touch the ceiling. You, uh, he gives you an item. He drops an item somewhere, I think. Something like that. So uh, we'll try this until I lose, which will probably be soon. But I can never keep this shit up. It reminds me of Super Mario RPG, uh... The jumping uh, mini game in the. Uh... Oh, I got it! The Ring of Arcana! I think that's the best thing you can get. So you can get double the ring, I think. Something like that. So yeah, I think we got a life up or a heart up, and uh, that's always cool. That was nice. Definitely worth it. So I will see you at the Reverse Outer Wall for real. So to lie to you again, I think we're gonna go to the Clock Tower instead, uh, considering that it would lead us to the Outer Wall, and we need to hit it anyway. So let's go to the Clock Tower. 